ChristyCast.com readers, this is Samantha Ross here with Lucia Perez, who's representing Spain this year with Que Me Quiten Lo Bailao. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> uh, we will be using a, uh, the services of a translator for this uh, for this interview, so that's the extra voice you're going to hear. How uh, How is your rehearsals going? You have your second rehearsal today, is that correct? ¿Cómo ha sido tu ensayo? ¿Fue el segundo ensayo hoy? Eh, fue el segundo ensayo y bueno, por la verdad es que eh, mejorando las, las cosas que mejorables del día anterior y, y bueno, la verdad es que me siento cada vez más a gusto, más cómoda en ese gran escenario con esas grandes luces y yo creo que el día 14 de mayo va a ser un día inolvidable y voy a disfrutarlo mucho. Okay, so it was her second rehearsal today, and uh, she is getting more and more used to the stage and all the, uh, the lights, and uh, she thinks that uh, until the uh, 14th of May everything will be perfect. Excellent. Now, as we know, this is your first trip to Eurovision, but you are familiar with international competition. Um, you performed twice at the Vini del Mar Festival in Chile. Uh, how does your experience in Chile, which is known for having a incredibly crazy crowd, How, how, does that, uh, how does it compare to what you're seeing here? Bueno, yo creo que sí. Yo creo que estar bueno en el festival de Viña del Mar, pues es que es muy parecido, sí. eh, pues gran escenario, miles de personas. Y bueno, pues es que lo que decimos es que te tienes que demostrar todo en tres minutitos y hay que tener mucho temple, mucha seguridad. Y yo creo que eso puede ser favorable eh, para mí de haber vivido ya esa experiencia parecida de cara al Festival de Eurovisión. Así que ojalá eso, eso sea un, fuera una escuela para, para poder eh, disfrutarlo más y estar eh, perfecta para el día 14 de mayo. So she has already participated in the Vigna del Mar Festival in Chile, and um, yeah, which is uh, quite uh, similar. There are a lot of um, countries performing, and well, yeah, she thinks that this maybe was a good preparation and a good school, and she can use uh, the experiences from from Chile to to be prepared for your vision. Now, uh, as you know, obviously you're representing Spain, but you are Galician by birth. Uh, it's the, your first language, it's, it's who you are. How do you see this song reflecting your heritage and who you are and who you are as an artist as well as a, as a gallega? <laughs> no, dime, dime, que ahí me perdí. Bueno, que, um, que, que piensas como tú eres hablante de gallego, pero como um, la canción, sin embargo, te representa como persona gallega, aunque no sea cantante en gallego. Eh, en la canción hay eh, es decir, eh, unos toques gallegos en su producción en cuanto a, a instrumentos tradicionales gallegos como la gaita, como percusiones y bueno ahí está Galicia presente y luego después es que también yo tengo mi, mi forma de ser en la gallega que es ser abierto y ser también está presente en la canción y se conecta perfectamente con la esencia de ella, de, de diversión, alegría, optimismo. So okay, uh, although the song is in Spanish, um, it uh, has some elements of uh, Galician in it. So, for example, um, the instruments like percussions and um, and also her her personality, which is um, which, which reflects which reflects. Uh, Yeah, the, the Galician people. She's very um, happy and optimistic, and that's what she thinks is Gallego about them. Uh, Galician in the song and the performance. So. Now, in your national selection, uh, you had sort of the assignment that you had to pick Eurovision songs from the past that reflected you, that you really liked. What are some of your favorites of Eurovision from Spain or any other countries throughout? <laughs> Eh, mis favoritos, eh, bueno, yo creo que a medida que los voy escuchando cada vez tengo más favoritos, <risa> y, pero bueno, me gustaba mucho y, y creo que me va a gustar, hay que verlos en el directo, eh, pero Suiza, Inglaterra, Austria, Islandia, eh, eso es cuatro. Ok, so she says that um, 
Well, as she's um, now listening uh, more and more to the songs, she, ha she has um, always more um, favorites. So she really likes the uh, songs from uh, UK and from uh, Austria and Iceland and um, Switzerland. <laughs> And uh, would it be possible, I mean, your song is, you know, one of the reasons why we're all here celebrating with you, and, and we're really looking forward to seeing it on stage on the 14th of May. Would it be possible for you to sing just a little bit of it for us? A cappella. Oui. Oui? No, para. For you. For you. For you. English version for of the song. <laughs> is, the English version of the song. Is there an English version oh. of the song? Ah, no. Fantastic. Thank you. All the best. Gracias. Gracias. Ciao.